Good morning ladies and gentlemen. This is a quick introduction to explain to you how to do your CAT. This is the um, Term 4 CAT and you have two weeks to do it, uh, this class and next week. So what you're doing is you're constructing a website and it has to have a minimum of seven pages. So up here is your first page and that will be your index.html. So let's say that on my page I start my story and I say you go to the pet shop, do you buy a cat or a dog? If you buy a cat, you're going to link through to this page, which will be cat.html, and that will be dog.html. And therefore, I then say, you buy a cat, congratulations, he is adorable, I have a photo of the cat, I have a list of some of the things that's good about it, and I say, do you bath the cat, bath.html, or feed the cat, feed.html. I have a little bit of story there. This is dog.html, you'll remember. Do you walk the dog, walk.html, or do you play with the dog, play.html? And so, they're your documents. Now, here's the things you need to show in this project. You need to use headings, you need to use paragraphs, links. Now, you're going to have to have links to join the pages together anyway. Lists might be a bit artificial in a story, but you can manage it. Images, I'd expect you to have images. Tables. Uh, you need to use your tags, of course, because it's HTML. You need the CSS, which is the stuff between the style tags. And it's got to be readable. We're just going to assess how well things are laid out and that you're closing your tags and that your file names are all good. And it's pretty easy to get a good mark on this one. So I'm going to show you how I would set this up. I'm going to set up a new folder. So I right-click and set New Folder. And I'm going to call it Cat Story. Never mind that that formatting's a bit out. And then I'm going to go in there and I'm going to right click and create a new text document, which I'm going to rename as my first file, which is index.html. Yep, I surely do want to change it. Now, I already know that I want files called cat and dog, so I'm going to create cat.html. You'll notice I'm taking off the txt on the end. Um, and actually, I'm just going to start copying and pasting these so that I've got other HTML files. So I just use Control C and Control V. Um, so this one is called, I've got cat, now I've got dog, and then I've got feed, I think, and then I've got wash, I think, uh, play. Now let's see what I've forgotten. Index, cat. I can feed the cat, or I can play with the cat. I've got wash for the dog, so I could go to wash, dog, and then wash. And the other thing I can do is I can walk the dog. So I'm just going to copy this file, paste it in again, and then I'm going to rename that as walk. So I've got all my files. Now, I'm going to want some starter code. I'm going to suggest that a good place for you to get your starter code is off my site, which runs off my laptop. So you type in 10.138.157.68, and this is on the whiteboard. Now, that's not what I type in because I'm actually on this laptop. So I type in localhost. So there's my page, which you'll get to using that address. And there's my story. I'm going to right click on that and view source. Looks a little bit different on Explorer. I'm going to select all that code with Control A, Control C to copy, and then I'm going to pop it in my first document. So let me get my first document open. I'm going to open Notepad. There it is. Goodness. And now I'm going to file open. Uh, on my desktop, there we go, go down to the cat story, there's all those files, and I'm going to start on my index page, there it is, index, I know it's in the right place, look, desktop, cat story, index, and I paste it in. And so now I'm going to edit this to make it my own, I'm going to change the background colour, I might change the fonts, I'm certainly going to change the story, and then when that's finished, I'm going to open up my next file. And I'll probably copy some code in there too. So, I'm sure you've got capable help today. Um, I think that's... Oh, actually, that's not all you need to know. If you need help, of course, copy from here. 
Secondly, look at the stuff you've already done. Thirdly, look at the videos on the R drive. So they are, let's see, um, how do we get to them? So R drive, mine's called T, but yours is called R. Go down to Year 7 Digital Technology. Oops, missed it. There we go. Term 4, and there's the videos. Lastly, you can use the internet, just search stuff up, and I have left a cheat sheet for you, which you will also be able to refer to. That's all you need to know, so I will let you get to work.